Hi everyone, I'm back. Uh, while talking with my husband, I got the walls done for um, oh for oh for the second floor. So here's let me see if I can get this up. Sorry about my fingers. Whoops. So that's this is part of it. Right now they want me to put these uh, the lights in. Um. I think I'm making more of a mess than I need to. Uh, let's see. I haven't quite, the directions for putting the lights in were really weird. And it wasn't until I got to here. Oh, it was like, and then they, whoops. And then they finally give you a, you know, oh, an overhead look, which I wish they'd done that before. Oh, that's where everything goes. That would have been so much nicer. So I haven't put the rest of the walls together. I'm still wanting to make sure but and uh, so I got these done they are done so that uh, let's see so that some of them fold over they are they're I can't even talk today so that the uh, pieces of the paper fold over I so that it all joins in nicely so there's no seams so that's that's what I worked on the other day while talking with my husband oh now I find the pieces that I've been looking for Oh, here we go. I have needed these pieces all day long. And they have been in this all day long. Wow. Okay, keep track of your stuff better. <laughs> so, anyway, what I'm going to... Oh, I got the bed done. So, I got the bed done. My shower is a little lopsided, my bathtub, but I got that done. Let's see if I can... So, but, yeah, so there's, so yeah, there's some really nice, they, I really like the wallpaper, and so I'm going to go ahead and uh, work on, here we go, make sure you have the right stuff, work on the uh, base, or not the basement, the downstairs part, so put all those over there. And let's see here. This is putting things together. Here we go. So I have the steps done. Uh, with these, you have to be really careful. Uh, if with the with the second floor, you have to be really careful that you line them up right and that you cut where you're supposed to. Otherwise, you'll mess up um, how to glue it all in. It looks like. I'm not going to worry about making the furniture right now. I'm going to get this in. It looks like there are some weird trimming in here, but not a lot. So. I was working on the door. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Um. Wish I could say there's there's not really a lot going on. And since YouTube doesn't let you play music, even if it's at your own, um, uh, there's not really a whole lot to listen to. Um, let's see. I lost the door. I didn't want to make the door anyway today. <laughs> Let's not lose the stairs. Yeah, if you can do a better job of putting stuff in than I do. There we go, that needs to go there. It really helps. Normally I do really good. This is the first time I've had a mess today that's just been really hard. All right, so. Since I lost my door, we'll go ahead and do something else, okay. So, okay, goes this way, okay, get, get you down in here, let's see if I can get this over, and then down, okay, I really need some better lighting, so, all right, 
So this one is A40 D149. It doesn't look like I have to do anything special. So we'll just do this. Oh, uh, let's see, my sister's irises, no, her toad lilies came in while I was there. So we, we needed to get those planted. Um, I think they're ugly. They're like lilies, they've got spots on them, really weird, and really weird colors. But she likes them. And so, so, oh, a few days, Monday, Monday we did it. So we buried plants alive. Uh... Gave them holy water and blessed them for, and then uh, thanked them for their sacrifice. So hopefully she will have toad lilies next year. Um, her irises came in also while I was gone, while I was there. So she says she got a whole nother, a new package of irises today. Um, I was looking at where to plant mine because I have two. My backyard is not conducive to gardening, and I am not a gardener. Um, I have a black thumb. I have managed to keep alive, despite being gone for a month, my uh, moss rose um, hanging basket that I bought at Walmart. So that, but it's not, it's there. So I am proud of myself for that. Let me put this up here. So just looking around, trying to figure out where to put irises. Um, it's not that my yard can't do it. It's just, again, do I really want to dig up my yard? Let's see. And I was looking online at flowers, you know, because I really like lilies. And pretty much everything is sold out. Um, if you didn't get in right away, I guess you're... If you didn't order yours right away for planting fall bulbs, you know, you're basically out of luck. Um, so... The, I thought about, uh, I thought about doing, uh, I hate when my brain just dies like this. I thought about doing, doing it on the patio. Just, I've got a deck back there, a small one, and maybe I can just do some stuff. You know, maybe I can just grow some tomatoes and stuff next year. So I'll think about doing that. But I've got to find a place for the irises. So do they want me to put this in first? I guess so. So. Always when you do this, make sure the windows fit in. I have found the hard way that sometimes they don't. Okay, good. See, these are this one's a little loose. But okay, at least it fits in. All right. I've broken a couple of windows that way, thinking, oh, they'll just fit in. No, you need to dry fit them first. So let's go ahead and make sure these are right. Ah. So if you love gardening... Um, more power to you. I find it intensely frustrating. But, you know, now that I'm older, maybe I have more patience for it. Where my sister lived, they had beautiful yards. Everybody else out there had gorgeous flowers and, you know, just very beautiful. We took care of the yards. Mine is not the eyesore of the neighborhood. We don't have a neighborhood Nazi organization. Um, but I have a big, large tree out front. So it looks, uh, so my front grass doesn't grow very well. Um, you know, I have plenty in the backyard. I have a really nice backyard, but my, tr my, you know, so the front yard, it, it looks nice and everything. It's not like, but I was surprised that for as old as the area where my sister lives, it was just as nice as it was, um, that everybody had their yards all up kept and, uh, Okay, there we go. Got a window in. Okay, one window in with minimal mess. Okay, then it wants me to put D166. So if you, I'm just not much of a gardener. Most of what I have, like I said, out front, about the only thing I could probably put in there is shade, would be hostas, and I'm not that big of a fan of hostas. Um, so, and that's okay. Let's see, what am I looking for? D166, here we go. Um, so, but I'll let her do her gardening next year. She's got a whole bunch of stuff coming in. 
Uh, the hard part was her foot being in a, you know, and in, in, it's in a boot now. Is She's going to have to have help uh, getting it all dug up and ready to go. And she hadn't had planned on having that surgery. So, but her husband will be able to help her out. Okay. So we'll get this on. Yep, getting the camera here. I'm trying to think what else is going on. Oh. So there we go. There is a wall. Okay, A9. Okay, cut D169 as photo shown. Oh, okay. Let's find D169. Here we go. Cut this out right here. Okay. Oh, fold via the lines, then cut it out. Okay. So you need to learn to read the directions. Hello. All right. So my kids are doing good. My youngest is with her boyfriend in California and not real happy about that, but, you know, with COVID going around, it's hard to tell him. I guess she's meeting his family. I don't know how serious things are. Um, the problem we're running into, and again, with, well, it's not really a problem. It is, is housing for college, is if they decide to get married, um, they'd have to apply for married housing now, um, which... So let's say they wanted to get married. So right now, it's just a real big pain in the neck to, to get married housing. Otherwise, you have to break the lease for single housing, which I don't think is right. But again, and the other thing is, you know, being in Idaho, if they wanted to get married. Well, obviously, they're going to want to get married in the temple. But um, I don't think they they only want so many people in the in the in the rooms in the temple and i don't know how many they would be allowed and i don't think they want anyone coming from out of state to do it so uh, so now would not really be a good time to get married in the sense that nobody could really be there um and so i don't know i don't know what they'll do and I don't know if they are talking about it or not. Um, if you happen to be LDS, again, I think the church, our church has cut down, made all the temples into live ordinances, and they've restricted how many people can be in there. Um, a lot of the temples are now under, they're being cleaned and under construction, getting cleaned up. I know the Salt Lake Temple is being brought up to code. So, yeah, I don't know how easy it would be. I'm not sure if ours is open or not, because I know it's just open. And he, so we'll see what happens if they decide to actually go get married. He seems like a nice guy. Um, they, so we'll see what happens. I'm just not ready to do a wedding. Well, you know, because again, you know, there's nobody that could really enjoy it, and you don't want to get people sick either. Um, you know, because you just, you know, you hear about all these people getting sick, and I don't want anyone getting sick. So, uh, you know, if they decide, they, I wish they'd wait. Um, at least till things are a little bit better. But I am worried about her being in California because COVID is so high. Did I? Oh, nope. Let's see if I can get this. Uh, what they want me to do is, there we go. Want me to bend these, and I'm going to make a what looks like a po or a no oh, a post of some kind. So let's see if I can do this right. Okay. Okay. So now that I have that done, but again. 
you know, it's dresses. I know what a lot of girls, and I wish I had done this when I got married. It wasn't a thing back then, but you know, when you get married in the temple, you know, you have specific clothes on. And I, you know, it's just, and so, you know, well, it has to be modest clothing. Um, but a lot of the girls now, when they get married, they have, they have a wedding dress that they wear for their receptions that doesn't have to, you know, that are prettier ones, um, you know, that are short sleeve, um, you know, just, and I wish I had, that was popular back when I was there. Um, it's very hard to find a modest dress and it was back then. Um, probably more so now, unless you're in the Utah area where they can. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four. okay. Then cut out via, they want it this way, okay. Sounds like they want to glue on here though. All right, well, so do they want it as a, as a four or a five? One, two, three, four. So, all right, well, I won't glue that yet till I know what it is. So a lot of the time the girls, they have, you know, when they have the receptions, that's where they go out on the receptions and have you know, still modest clothing, but modest dresses, but more fun and flirty ones, um, where I didn't have that option. Um, and, you know, if you aren't LDS, it's not that, you know, it's just, you know, when we get, when we get married in our church, in our temples, you know, you are asked to dress modestly. So the dresses need to go down to the feet, uh, down to the ground, and you need to have your arms covered down to the wrist. Oh, I've got a low battery here. Um, So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. However, if they want to get married, you know, that's fine. I like him. He seems like a nice guy. Um, they served in this, they both served in Idaho in the Idaho Falls mission. So I, you know, that's where they're nearest. No, the, what temple is there? The press, or the one, there's a temple there in, uh, over there at the BYU, Idaho. So there's one there, but they wanted to get married in the Idaho Falls temple. Um, that's where they serve their mission. Uh, see here, low battery. I know, close. So we'll see what happens with that. So it was kind of hard when you live far away and trying to plan a wedding for when you're here in Nebraska and she's in Idaho. Um, okay, we got that done, or at least not glued. Let's see. Okay, we're coming up on what, 18 minutes? Just kind of babbling on about nothing. Is this, here we go. All right. So far this has not been hard. It's, you know, it's, it's just time consuming. So I think if you wanted to try something this small, you'd be okay. The only thing I didn't like was, well, they wanted me to, I didn't like how they wanted you to do the, do the, do the lights. And I don't have them all clicked in right. If you can see it, they wanted me to put a notch right here. Well, it's wood and you know, and I don't know, cause then everything was supposed to go down what you had was the door that they were supposed to put a door. You put the door in and then everything, all of this hides behind the door. Um, I'm not sure I wanted to try cutting into it. Let me try this. Let's see if I've got one that's just wood. Here we go. I don't think this is, yeah. Well, it's soft. So I guess maybe you could have. Anyway, I've already changed it. Doesn't matter. I wish that they had, I didn't see anything. It didn't say anything about it. So I'll put those lights back in eventually. I don't know how all of this is going to fit together, actually. I'm sitting here going, this is all got to fit into one little piece. So I'm going to guess that you put, you tape all of this color together and all of this color together and then tape it all. Because you've also got the top down here. I hope I don't have to extend to this, but this is supposed to fit. 
you know, and then you've got to probably run those down the stairs. So we'll see how it goes. And that's probably what, oh, you know what? That's probably what this is, is to run all the uh, tubes down, all the, all the wires down. I'm sure that hides the wires. I bet you that's what that does. Okay. So I suppose I should be more excited about a wedding, but, you know, with this time going on, I don't know. His family, I think Idaho has a two-week... In fact, I know Idaho has a two-week, uh, oh, uh, where they want you to quarantine for two weeks. So, yeah, it's just not the greatest time for a wedding. But we'll see what happens. But, it, you know, if they wanted to get married, what, yeah, they've got winter. I, BYU Idaho does their things really weird, but I think they'd have to, they'd have to set up now to be able to pay for, to get their housing all set up. Otherwise, they both have to break their leases, and I don't know how much it costs to do that. So we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Okay, D one. Okay, so they want this. Let's put this other window in here. Nope, not that window. Here we go. So we want this and this to go in. Okay. And it looks like... Okay, it does look like it's a square. Maybe. It would have to go in as a square. This is what it looks like here, because it looks like this would go here to do that. Oh, no, maybe not. Okay. So how do they want this in? Yeah, they've got it like this. But I'm not, so it's got to fit, so they do, it looks like it does have a five, and then it does fit, it's got to fit that way. Am I in? It's got to fit that way from the, okay, well, I'll just do whatever. And, because it's all, yeah, everything's got to fit down this hole. We'll see what happens. Well, I'm already at 23, so... We'll take care of that. I have one wall, not the outside, but at least one wall sort of done. So thanks for sticking around if you waited this long. Um, have a great day, great evening. I guess it's 9 o'clock my time. So take care. Thanks. Bye.